Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome to a brand new segment I like to call Look What I Got. And what I got today is Splinter Cell Blacklist. Let's get started. Hey, Sam. Almost forgot. You're upset. Huh? New and improved. Uh, I think so that's a like fucking phone, dude. Like when you're on the ground. Data transmissions, drone controls, scanning. Gotcha. All you gotta do is slave it to the SMI, do a couple of calibrations, and you're good to go. That's slavery. Thanks, Charlie. That's not right. So, uh, this mission coming up, um, it's not the first mission of the game per se, but it's the first, uh, official mission of the game, if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. And, uh, they're asking us how dark we want the screen to be. Actually, this game gets pretty dark, um, later on in the game, so you might not want to set it too dark, but you don't want to cheat either and set it too bright, right? I guess two is good. So, uh, here's the MSI map, or SMI, whatever it's called. You can access side missions here, you can access story missions here. It's kind of like, uh, Mass Effect meets Call of Duty, I guess. Mass Effect meets Call of Duty meets CSI. And these red ones here are the story missions. They're the only missions in the game that can't be played, uh, co-op. I haven't played this game co-op yet. I don't think I have any friends on Steam that, uh... And I'm gonna talk over this because it's really just a bunch of generic, uh... Bullshit. So... You know, whatever, fuck it. Um... Right, haven't tried co-op yet. I'm sure it's quite interesting. And, uh, every, every mission starts out like this. There's a little bit of flavor dialogue from a, uh a news source or something and you get a bunch of photoshopped fade in fade out montages of things here's a bunch of uh... achievements for all you kids who love achievements and here's some more achievements things that you can pick up when you're in the field what do we have been dust? My contact is at a CIA safe house. They've detained a subject with intel on Guam, but no one gets to ask questions until they're done with them. How'd they nab him? They didn't. He just walked in their office. Oh, pretty ballsy. Look, how do we know he isn't some psycho with a sick sense of humor? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. There's something you're not telling me? Yeah. Dude's name is Andre Coben. Does that mean anything? Oh, he didn't even know what he said. He doesn't know who Coben is. Sam. He's a oh, character wait. from the last game. You know this guy? What we need to know is what would make a wanted arms dealer turn himself into the CIA right after Guam. All due respect, why don't we just leave the interrogation to the CIA? You can forget the company man bullshit breaks. You're on our team now. Yeah. Whose side do you want, douchebag? Am I missing something? He's our only connection to the engineers. We're not trusting this to someone else. Who is Andre Coben? Andre Coben? Pretended to kill my daughter to give someone leverage over me. Whoa. How is he even still alive? Good question. What's so, our move, Sam? <laughs> so, before the mission starts, um... Wait, are they gonna do it? Yeah. Before the mission starts, they always, uh... Like, give this... This view of Sam, like, looking around like he's about to make a fucking decision, but... There's nothing you can really do. You can change the difficulty. You can... You can pick his nose if you want. <laughs> um, you can try to poke him in the eye if you want. He doesn't seem to mind. You can pick his ear, too. Try to make him smile. Come on, Sam. You know, cheer up. You know? You're so boring now. Show me the safe house. You're so fucking boring now. Really? Now that's a bad neighborhood. Oh, really? Oh, weird, <laughs> right? Because usually the CIA tries to keep their Middle East ops super obvious. Focus. I mean, Charlie's Your a smart ass is through the bazaar here. You get the signal, my contact departs the safe house, it'll be a clear run at Coben. Uh-huh. It always looks easy on a screen, Graham. Yeah, To be nerd. clear, Sam, we are talking about an extraction, not Fucking killing him. Fucking nerd, Grim. You're up. Show me viable positions for Overwatch. Best sight lines are here and there. <laughs> looks good. Grab a suppressed sniper kit. 
Am I providing cover or am I taking out the target? What do these guys Charlie have in their chests? It looks like an I-7 Intel Hell, chip or it. some shit like that. You didn't answer my question, Sam. You just worry about a viable spot for X-Phil. Stop Something nagging here. me, lady. Everyone clear? Let's make this prep quick. Man, I wish I had something like that to draw on. Flight deck, we are go for Benghazi. Yeah, I wanted to get a Cintiq, but, like... Okay, so... Alive, so it's nothing lethal. Recommended gear starts with smoke and flashbangs, not frags. Okay, so they'll give you recommendations um, in the beginning of each stage. Like the more traditional Splinter Cell games of the past, you know, before before Conviction. Um, feel free to ignore that advice, though, because it's pretty much bullshit. Um, in my opinion, the most practical way to go is mostly non-lethal and silenced weapons. I mean, there's really no reason not to do it, I guess. I mean, unless you want to have fun, that is. <laughs> if you want to have fun and just go in guns blazing, I, I guess you can do that. But if you want to be a pro, then you, you, you better go stealthy. So here you can buy upgrades for your gun. Accuracy and range are pretty important because uh, this PX4 Storm is terrible range. Uh, makes headshotting people really hard. And uh, getting headshots at range is pretty important because... If you get caught in an open firefight, especially early on in the game with all the shitty equipment, uh, you're going to get destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. And, uh, apparently the fourth echelon doesn't have a lot of money to spend, so I think we're all out, and we're going to get ready to go. Is there still a third echelon? I, I don't remember. I never actually played Conviction. Um... I bought it, but my brother installed it in his computer, and because of the DRM, I couldn't play it, and I kind of just watched him as he played it, so... Briggs, you have a visual in the safe house. I just got here. It doesn't look good. I'm seeing militia all over the plaza. Wow, look at the size of their fucking cell phone. <laughs> what else? Hey, it's a nice gun you got there. Those guys are pretty cool. Oh, wow. This technology from the 1980s. It's amazing. Oh, my God. All right. So many wondrous things to see in this part of the world. Whoa. I'm entering the plaza. Militia's blocking the front door access. Yeah, right. You didn't really think you'd be going in the front door, did you? Good eyes from the southwest corner of the plaza. Copy. Moving now. Grim, keep trying to reach our contact. Let me know if you get through. Copy. So, a big part of Splinter Cell Blacklist is going to third world shitholes where you're not really sure what's going on. At least I'm not. Maybe I'm just not paying close Another enough attention deal? or something like that. Bathroom, you got one. In the alley. Oh, he speaks pretty good English. <laughs> That's a good thing, too. Otherwise, Sam would have had to pee in his pants. Number one or number two? What are those guys doing? She'll cut on that people. There's a bathroom tent. Wow. Where are you supposed to go in there? Negative. Militia's everywhere, Sam. Told you this would get messy. <laughs> so I switched his lights to gold because I could. That's another Briggs, status. great Still feature of Splinter Cell Blacklist. You can change his lights. Might get loud. Keep it quiet as long as we can. Moving to the side entrance. So there's a lot of shit you can do in Splinter Cell Blacklist. You can actually choose not to kill people, which is nice. Got a lot of interesting gadgets here. I'm taking out the sticky camera, which can do quite a lot of things. And uh, at this point, I actually played some side missions, so I do know how to play the game already, but uh, you don't have to play those side missions, so the game's just trying to make sure that you know what you're doing. And I am ready to execute some people. Uh, this, this thing was introduced in Conviction, basically... If you get an unarmed kill, you can uh, you can automatically kill some people if you want to. 
by marking them and then getting close enough to kill them. There we go. Looks pretty cool. It's kind of like an easier version of what's in Hitman Absolution. I'm moving in. Um, one thing to note about Blacklist, though, is that unlike Conviction, you don't have to get uh, unarmed knockouts or kills to get uh, an execute token. Actually, you can get you can get an execute token by getting two silent kills with a gun if you want to. And uh, I'm thinking about whether or not to take this guy out, but I think I think better of it. I don't want to alert those other two guys in there. And that guy just heard me walking around. You gotta be careful in Splinter Cell Blacklist because. Uh, <laughs> and I, I just missed a collectible there. Um, you gotta be careful in Splinter Cell Blacklist, because not only can the enemies hear very well, but uh, their eyes can actually... Go into the room to your right, out the window, and traverse the ledge. Okay, so this is where that fucking jerk rig screws me over. And I get seen. And, uh... Do I die at this point? I'm not sure. But, uh, once, once they see you, uh, the enemies are very aggressive, um, do not harm civilians. <clears throat> Alright, head up this. So, uh... Some of the takedowns in this game are really cool. And, uh, there I am marking some more people. Actually, I found that there are so many, uh... So many options for taking out enemies. I, uh, I hardly ever actually use the mark and execute in this game. There. Now your TV's really broken. Sliding around, looking really cool. All right, and this door is locked. Kind of makes you. I'm in position, Sam. Any sign of our contact? Can't confirm. Roger that. <sighs> so the only person that's more boring than Sam Fisher in this game is Briggs, who I guess is the character that you use if uh, if you're doing a co-op mission. <laughs> oh, and that's one of my favorites right there. We didn't get anything else. He didn't want to talk. Yeah, they're searching the rest of it now. No trouble. And nice. So uh, I guess we found Coben. Good yay for us. Roger that. Not oh, him. someone else. Confirm Coben was in here, Briggs. Right place, right build. I, I assume. Don't sir. make assumptions when I'm on the ground. Clear? Sam, talk to me. Your contact's been made. He's dead. We got more militia in route. Okay. Advise you move out, sir. All right, I need options. Now would be good. Give me a minute. Oh yeah, it's all me, baby. Pass the phone to the ops ad. I can hack this cheap bootleg <sighs> crap easy. Oh, shut the fuck up, Charlie. All right, Charlie, I'm patched. Okay. Yes. Yes. Come on, Charlie. Done. Wow, there is a lot of freaky porn on here. Yeah, I bet you'll enjoy that. Right. I traced the call. Pushing the location to your offset now. Whoa. Uh, not good. It's a police station. Briggs. Oh, I Perfect fucking test. hate cops. Roger that. Better bring, better bring some donuts, huh? Enemy transport huh? dropping <laughs> hostiles at least a dozen. Moving now. I'll cover your exit. So, uh... Right. Climbing up this wall here. Running around. I guess Sam Fish has kind of got that Benjamin Button thing going on, huh? I mean, he's really young in this game, compared to the way he was in the first game. And, uh, at this point, I think... Oh, I was gonna say I got lost, but I guess not. And I'm marking these guys for no, for no damn reason. I can't execute any of them. <laughs> 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 
and those two run away, so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, this section's a little bit uh, uncharted in that uh, it's kind of a... Wait, what? Oh, sorry, I, I thought I thought this is the part where I got lost. I'm uploading a short I know there was one station. section on where I got set. lost. At least one. So here's where we can restock, and when you get an upgrade, you can actually change your equipment if you want. Unless you're pr playing on the hardest difficulty there is. Okay, so at this point, I get a little turned around. I'm not really sure where to go. Um, do I drop down here? I don't remember. Oh, zip line, right. There's so much... So apparently you can hide bodies in, in bins and things, but I don't remember ever seeing any, any bins. Spread out and, search. and these guys are looking for something, but I don't know what they're looking for exactly. Huh. I could have executed these guys here, but I chose not to. I guess I was afraid about that fourth guy. You know, um, speaking of stealth games in general, I find uh, a lot of people get frustrated with them because when they play through the game the first time, uh, they, they're like totally obsessed with being perfectly stealthy, you know? Uh, they get frustrated, and my advice would be that when you're playing a game for the first time, I don't, don't worry so much about uh, playing through the game perfectly because, you know, the only way to really sneak around effectively in a game like this is knowing where the enemies are. You know, and obviously I don't know where the enemies are, so I'm going to be spotted sometimes, I'm going to have to kill people sometimes, that kind of thing. It's all part of the fun. So, uh, you know, go easy on yourself and, uh, you know, don't try to play through it perfectly the first time. That's not how you play a stealth game. So, uh... This game is... It's really linear. There's no... There's no choice to be had, except, uh... Sam, I'm seeing a high-value target. Single digits on Langley's most wanted. If you capture him, we'll arrange for pickup. Great. So, the HVT, or high value target, is, uh, an extra collectible, I guess. This guy is wondering why the, the window's going up and down by itself. Now, you don't want to kill these guys. You want to knock them out and grab onto them. There we go. And you can bag and tag them, which gets you some extra money that you can spend on upgrades. HVT secured. Local authorities are alerted. And uh, best route to Coben. Head down towards street level. Got it. You know, someone's bathroom. Don't want to go there. What was that? Jesus? Is that? Wait, no, nah, it's not Jesus. I don't know who that's supposed to be. And, uh, here I'm going to take the advice of the game and use Sam's whispering, whistling thing to get attention, but this guy will fuck me up. Okay, so that little ghost thing there actually shows us where the enemy last saw us, which means that... They're going to go and attack that position, at least for a little while, which hmm? means that we can, uh... We're not getting in there. Now, there's a lot of buttons to learn in Conviction, I'm sorry, Blacklist, which means that, uh, I mess up quite a bit. There we go. And they saw me shooting from the window, what a surprise. You know, but like I said, you don't want to obsess over playing through the game perfectly the first time. You know, you want to use 
all the tools the game gives you. I think I get my ass kicked here. Uh, let's see. Where do I make it? Through? I don't remember. So, yeah, I'm not sure how they know I'm I was there, but well, there you go. And uh, here I am, fucking idiot Sam, closing the fucking door. Yes. Even on normal difficulty, you can kill pretty quickly. Um, I do find myself uh, closing doors when I mean to be opening them, but uh, for the most part, the controls uh, work pretty good. <laughs> and there I am using the bash door uh, command. HVT secured. And uh, oh, really? HVT oh, is once over. again secured. Head down towards street level. Got it. So this time I'm gonna play a little more carefully. I'm not gonna listen to what the stupid fucking game tells me to do. Look at you. Hey there. Um. One thing you gotta be careful of is you can't. Uh, you can't. Do Sam's whisper or whistle too many times in a row when they're close because that'll actually make them go into alert. And there we go. Still alerted them. <laughs> but uh, now I have the jump on them. Gotta make sure not to. Not to hit that guy who's crouching down there because he's just an innocent civilian after all. I think that this time I do uh, approach things a little more stealthy like. Not really sure what I'm looking for. There's another picture of uh, not Jesus. <laughs> Just watching uh, Sam Fisher walk down the hallway, crouch down like that, reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 4. If you uh, if you walked around too much, crouched down, he would uh, he would stop and have to rub his back because he's of course an old man. And somehow, even though I didn't make any noise, they still know I'm there. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Oh, that was close. Gotta be careful. There we go. I'm not sure why he didn't see us, but we saw him and we put an end to his life. Does he know that no one else is left to take orders from him? Why open a door when you can climb? Well, here the game's telling us about dogs. Um, like I said before, because I had already played through some side missions, I already knew all about dogs and how dangerous they could be, so I'm taking it slow and easy. So, uh... If you got a soft spot for dogs, you might not want to play this game, because there is a lot of dog killing. I like dogs, but I'm really more of a cat person, I guess. Oh, there's a lot of rats. Heads up, Sam. The police station's just around the corner. Copy that. Briggs, what's your status? I'm almost on site. I scoped out a rooftop 200 meters south of the police station. Eyes on the compound in the street out front. I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of impressed that Briggs hasn't had any trouble on his end. I mean... I mean, 
as as crappy as this place seems to be, it, it seems odd that no one would notice a guy running around on rooftops with a giant sniper rifle, but hey. Nice. Come over here, you. Yeah. There you go. Take a load off. You've been working too hard. The game is linear, but... Oh, I missed there. Yeah. Uh, but there are multiple ways to sneak through a lot of uh, places. So here I am, not really sure how to go through the stage. I don't really want to go through the front gate. And I don't think... At first I was thinking Sam could climb up on top of those boxes and then jump over there, but no. So this dog smells me, now he's barking. And Sam, being a fucking moron, is exposing himself. There. Now I gotta get out of here before they come over and kill my ass. And uh, because my last known position was over there by the gate, they're all gonna uh, they're all gonna congregate over there and shoot at the thin air. And I'm I'm wondering whether to try to kill them or. Just go on by. Oh, great. I'm using the sticky cam. Okay, so the sticky cam can shoot sleeping gas. It can attract people to its direction. Um, it can blow up in a flash grenade, too. <laughs> there. So that guy's going to sleep. And... When these guys see their friend get knocked out, they're also going to come over there. And while these guys are stunned, I'm just going to slip away. Unnoticed. Finally, to the police station. Sam, what's your status? I'm inside, making sure I'm not followed. You have a lock on Coben's location? Best bet is a secure interrogation room. Top floor, south side. Briggs, pull out. Pick up the van and rendezvous at extraction. Copy that. So this section in. reminds me a little bit of the more original uh, Splinter Cell games, there's, there's a careful, quiet, slow infiltration, thoughtful. Just getting some exercise. You know, when you're, when you're as old as Sam Fisher, you need to get as much exercise as you can. So the snake cam exists, but I'm not really sure what it's for, considering uh, your, your goggles can do all that for you. But, uh, you know, it's still fun to use. And that guy's down. And, uh, sometimes it's good just to mark people, just so you know where they are. I don't think I'd take this guy out. Oh, well, well, maybe not. Here he comes, not suspecting a thing. Hiya! There. Where are you? And And there I break that glass to attract uh, this guard over here. Oh, the other guy doesn't seem particularly interested in all the sounds going on. Okay. And, uh, 
If they've set up shop in the police station, they've set up computers. Plug in your office. Right, so here's a, another collectible, a laptop. You hold E to hack, and you get some money. Found a laptop with possible intel. Forty thousand dollars. My God. Looks like I've got access to the local militia. Wish I could find a laptop like that. Hey you. Uh, I guess this guard's hard of hearing. Hey there. Uh, no, he's not coming. Let's get closer and see. Uh... Hey, no, really? You don't want to come over, huh? All right. Oh, and then it's where I realize that that guy on the mini map is actually the guy on the floor below. So. Yeah. Tell me now. Ah! 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 And someone's getting tortured. Another Tell thing this game excels at. Americans. Tell me about the Americans. I'm evil. One more time. Why did you run to the Americans? I told you it has nothing to do with you. Nothing, I swear to God! So, you are saying we are not important enough to turn us in? Is that it? No, I'm not saying that. No, no, no. No, no, no. What <laughs> That's I'm totally saying, what he's saying, dude. Ooh, he's cooking. You talk too much. I thought you wanted me to. <laughs> Don't think. It gets you in trouble. What a douchebag. Okay, okay. Fucking told him everything, okay? I've located Coben. Is he alive? For now. Alright, so we're just gonna mark and execute all these motherfuckers. Boom! 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 Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who are you? CIA? Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, you have gotta be fucking shitting me! <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Uh, Fisher, this is about what happened in DC. Shut up. Sam, what no, 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 don't, don't, don't. <laughs> nice pants, dude. You here to save me? <laughs> I'm here to save what you know. Sit. Sam, it's about to get ugly. Well, if you want him to sit down, why'd you position? knock over his Back chair? Secure. Briggs, what's your twenty? Inbound with the van. Holy shit, he is here to save me. Move. So, Coben's pretty funny in this Ow. game. Is I mean, not Let's that this go. game is particularly funny, it's You'll just... You'll keep me safe, right? And, uh, I guess you can sneak through this part, but I totally blow that. So... Yeah. Holy shit, look out! As you can see in the upper left corner, there's a stipulation. Reinforcements if detected. I didn't see that the first time I played through this. And because of that, I have to uh, spend an extra, I don't know, three or four minutes killing guards. Uh, but first we gotta sit Coben over here. Bridge, we're at the extraction. Where are you? Still in the route. Cross street just got here. Stay. We can do that. Do not harm civilians. I, I wonder. Don't let them shoot me. Just stay down. I wonder where the civilians are supposed to be. Um, I mean, unless Coben We're counts coming. as civilian. Really? Which uh. What the hell is our exit? Worry about not getting shot. Now at this point, I'm waiting for the 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 enemies to come in here so I can kill them. But uh, watch it, Fisher. Yeah, they never do. They never come in. I just they, I guess they're just scared of Sam Fisher. Such a terrible badass. What kind of protection are you? 
You want to go uh, back in that cell? Coleman's complaining because I'm not there to hold his hand, but I'm just wondering why aren't these guys coming? You know, what's what's the big deal here? Holy shit! Look out! And uh, no, there's no one there. Coleman's seeing things. He's jumping at shadows. There they are. And at this point, I'm thinking, oh, surely they'll come, they'll come back after me to chase me, but no, they still don't. They still don't. So I gotta go back, and, uh, oh, there's one. Well, it seems they're in the interrogation room. Roger that. Get me the fuck out of here. Fisher, let's go. A little blind fire action there. It's a good thing too, cause I'm almost out all the bullets. Kidding me? I'm not even wearing shoes. Move. Oh shit. Oh, that's that can't feel too good. The hell, man! Grab on. What? Why? Do it. <laughs> You know, for a black for a black market arms dealer, Coben sure is timid. You know, he's probably killed a lot of people too. I don't remember him being quite this funny in Conviction, but I guess they needed I don't know someone who is funnier than Charlie. I guess I don't know. So, uh, yeah, here's the part where it shows you all your kills. All your play styles. So you get the most points for not even touching a hostile because that's the hardest thing to do, obviously. Um, you get even less points for evading hostiles. You get a moderate amount of points for killing people stealthy, stealthily. And some people might not like that. They might feel like the game's trying to dictate how they play, but honestly, I prefer a game that kind of focuses on stealth. Uh... Okay. Bunch of points that don't really mean anything to me. I guess they affect how much money you make, but... Uh... Yeah, and there's also a time bonus, too. Pretty lengthy level, considering it was just a bunch of straight hallways, pretty much. I found two hidden paths. I'm not really sure if the game tells you they're hidden paths when you find them or what. I didn't really notice. Our accounts have been updated. And someone somewhere gave us money. Maybe it was the president of the United States or something. Ah, is that really fucking necessary? What are you smiling about? Talk. All right. Uh, six weeks ago, a client contacted me. He wanted uh, small arms, katushas, a fucking missile launcher, you name it. He was willing to pay top dollar, too. It was a good deal. It was, it was too good. You supplied weapons for Blacklist Zero? Hey, I supply a lot of people, okay? They don't usually go around targeting U.S. bases. Who was it? All I know is that they were talking about the attack on the embassy in Vienna, like they were fucking proud of it. Hundreds of innocent people died in that attack. Yeah, no shit. That's what I'm saying. This guy is a monster. He's a fucking <laughs> ghoul, okay? And he he doesn't leave loose ends. You gotta be kidding me. Coven is supposed to have a conscience or something? That's right? fucking stupid. This guy. Ugh. What? Shut up, Charlie. What the fuck? Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. So you turned Go yourself into CSI, protection. you fucking nerd. Keep you idiots from killing me over Guam, yeah. Briggs, how do you feel about storing our new cargo? My pleasure. What, what, what does that mean? Okay, Briggs, Great. put him in the brig. You and Charlie try and dig up any information you can about Coben's mystery customer. It's time to go hunting. <sighs> and that was Splinter Cell Blacklist. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little look at the game. I know I enjoyed it.